Welcome to Daz Geek. I am so excited to share this tool with you. I'm going to show you how to get this set up. If you're like me, you've got a million USB drives hanging around, each with their own ISO on them, or you're reburning the same drives with different ISOs. But here we have this tool called Ventoy. It's going to take care of all of that. It's 100% open source. It's going to create a second partition on your USB drive, which is going to allow you to put as many ISOs as the storage on that drive will allow. So you can have Garuda, you can have Manjaro, you can have Elementary, you can have Ubuntu all on one single drive. First thing you gotta do is download the tar file here, which I'm gonna show you the entire process from beginning to end. Once you've downloaded that tar file, of course you have to extract that file somewhere. So we're gonna go ahead and extract that file. And I'm telling you, this has changed everything as far as my process goes, I have, now down to one 128 gigabyte drive, USB drive with all my ISOs on it. Once we've extracted everything here, you can go ahead and open that readme. Those readmes are your clue in how to get anything working. And this is a very good one. It's gonna show you very simply how you get this Ventoy installed onto your USB drive. So first thing we wanna do is make sure we check that our USB drive that we've inserted into the machine that it's actually at slash dev slash SDB. You don't wanna overwrite the wrong thing. I didn't do sudo there. So we're gonna do fdisk-l, of course, with sudo. And you can see that my USB flash drive is indeed in this case slash dev slash SDB. So we've got mystery number one solved. Thank goodness it's at SDB. Now what we can do is go to our downloads file folder where we've extracted this program, Ventoy. And remember, we unzipped it. So we're going to go into that file where our readme was. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run this command, sudo sh ventoy to disk dot sh. And I'm using the dash capital I as a force since I already had ventoy on this drive. And then, of course, we're going to do the dev sdb, but we got to do it correctly with the slash in front because, uh, you know, I did things wrong. And now it's just going to ask you, you want to install to dev sdb? Yes. You sure you want to install to this? Then remember, we did that check with fdisk-l first. It's going to create the partition. It's going to do its magic. And you are going to, oh my gosh, you're going to love this when you see how simple it is to move ISOs over. In fact, what we probably need to do now is go get some more ISOs so I can kind of show you when we boot into Ventoy exactly what it looks like. So let's get some Garuda downloaded here. Maybe we'll go with the XFCE edition. You go with Dragonize. You could download all of the versions and put them in Ventoy and check them all out if you want and live boot into them. So we're going to download some additional ones. I think I already have the latest Manjaro already installed on here. So we'll have a Garuda and Manjaro on this new disc I'm creating just for you because I had to show you how amazing this tool is. I, I'm just... Sometimes these tools come around in the Linux world and you're like, where have you been my whole life? And that's what I feel like with this one. So now you can see we have this empty folder. There's nothing in it. This is that second partition that it created for us. We can go to our downloads, grab those two ISOs that we had, the Garuda one and the Manjaro, and we can just cut them or copy them, however you want to do it. Move over to the Ventoy, paste, and you're done. And you could keep doing this. You could come back and download some more and just move them over onto that drive. There's no stopping you except for the amount of space that's on this USB drive. And now we've booted. We booted to the USB drive and you can see we have our two choices. We have Garuda and we have Manjaro. Then we have a couple of choices at the bottom as well. We have Memdisk, we have Power, we have TreeView, Localhost. We have some tools that we can take a look at that allow you to do some different things like keyboard layout changes, resolution configuration, screen deploy or display modes. And um, that's basically it in there. So you can play with this all on your own if you want, but you probably want to just boot into Manjaro at this point. And now you can kick off and install all the distros and distro hop as much as you want, as much as your heart desires. That's why I love this tool. Check out Ventoy, go support them. I'm going to go find a way to support them and donate to them because it's just such an awesome project. To the folks who created Ventoy, thank you for making this amazing tool. It has changed my entire workflow. As somebody who needs to try out a bunch of distros, I want to try them on different hardware. This makes things so much easier. And if I convince my friends to finally use Linux, I can plug in that USB and let them have a whole choice of ISOs already downloaded that we can install on their machine. That's awesome. You know what else is awesome though? Bitwarden, my favorite password manager on the planet. And they're the sponsor of this entire channel. 
So I want to thank Bitwarden. Go to bitwarden.com slash DLN and check out their $10 premium account. This is the best password manager on the planet. When we talk about amazing tools in Linux, Ventoy, Bitwarden. Bitwarden is definitely changed my entire process and flow because I can set up a new machine in mere seconds because I have access to all my passwords in one really secure place. And they even hire third-party auditors to come check their code. So check out Bitwarden. Thank you to all my amazing patrons. Thank you to the sponsors of this show. And I hope you enjoy Ventoy. Let me know in the comments below if you already knew about this, if you've been playing with this, how much you love it. I love it. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains.